Hello, Tomlin here. Now, I've been recommending the Hona Special 20 for years and years uh, to beginner blues harmonica students. And uh, I'm wondering if it's still the best option for beginner students, because we have so many amazing options now. There are things like the East Top uh, 008K, which is about half the price of a Special 20. And a Special 20 is now almost $60 in the US. So I bought a brand new one. I'm going to open it now and I'm going to answer the question, is it still the best beginner blues harmonica? Uh, and one thing that I'll say while I'm opening up this box, Hona say on the back of the uh, box that the Hona Special 20 is not good for blues. And in my opinion, and a lot of professional harmonica players, that is total BS. So ignore what the box says. Still ignore what the box says. So, Box is open. We now have the classic Hona Special 20 hard case. This is great. Um, it hasn't changed in years. Um, brilliant. So you can carry that around with you. Now, that's what you get. You get a harmonica. You get a little bit of information about how to play the harmonica. You get your case so you can carry it around with you everywhere so you can practice all the time. So, completely brand new. Hasn't been played before. Let's have a little play. Okay, so it plays great, just like all modern honers do. Certainly the, the more expensive ones. I'm not sure about the cheaper ones. I've not played one of those in a while. But the Special 20 plays like a Special 20 should. And as you heard, it sounds absolutely fine for the blues. So Special 20, still what I'm expecting. Now, twice the price of an East Top 008K. Now, if you watched my review of the East Top, uh, you'll know that I was really impressed by it. But there was one big problem with it. And that was that although it was a brand new harmonica uh, and it played great in general, I had to fix it uh, after not playing it for very long. And I don't think that that's something that a beginner wants to have to do. So that is a major red flag. And I started getting quite a lot of comments from uh, viewers and students saying that they had bought a bunch of East Tops and that they were pretty good to have just to throw around, put them in the car or whatever, but there were quite often problems. So there are quality control issues. Now, when I first started playing harmonica uh, back in the early aughts, we were just coming to the end of a really bad period of Hona history, and they weren't that great in terms of quality control. But since then, the quality control has gotten so much better that a Hona Special 20 is always going to play well, uh, at least I, I think it will, and every time I've picked one up, they have, and I've just got a brand new one today, and, and it, it, it's great. Um, so. Is it still the best harmonica for beginners? I would say yes. All the reasons that I thought it was a great harmonica for beginners right when I first picked one up are still there. Uh, if you want to find out what those are, I would click up here to watch my video all about it. But what I would really suggest is if, if you are a beginner, just go and buy a Hona Special 20 in the key of C. Don't worry if it says progressive on the box, that's totally normal. Don't worry if you read the back and it says that it's not suitable for blues music, because right here it says Hona Special 20 is designed for country and western, pop and rock and folk, and that it's not good for blues but that's utter BS. This is a professional grade instrument for only $60, which if you play any other instrument, guitar, piano, saxophone is completely unheard of. So highly recommend that you still start with a Hona Special 20. And if you wanna know why, just click up here to see why I think it's the best harmonica for beginners. And final notes. I'm not in any way sponsored by Hona. I wish I was sponsored by Hona. I pretty much only play their harmonicas, but I'm not. So you know that this comes from a place of uh, editorial integrity. Um, so yeah, those are my two cents on the Hona Special 20, whether it's still the best beginner blues harmonica.